If ever Satan was incarnate, it was in Fred West. He had no moral boundaries. He was very good at covering his tracks. He had a certain reptilian intelligence. Affability, geniality masked a very evil heart. I've kicked over a hornet's nest, I think, by my allegation that Fred West um, did not use his ice cream van exclusively for the purposes of selling ice cream. He didn't return his ice cream van till three in the morning every night, and I'd suggest you don't sell many ice creams after sundown. I think he was transporting young women largely to his allotment on the south side of Glasgow. So if I said to you, the driver of an ice cream van ran over and killed a small boy, your default reaction is, what a terrible accident. But if I put that in context and say, the driver of the ice cream van was Fred West, I think you'd be entitled to question that. Maybe it wasn't an accident, which is exactly what I did when I re-examined that. And my conclusion was that the little boy had been groomed to be at the ice cream van by the promise of firecrackers for, the, for Guy Fox night, and then reversed at high speed over the boy. And I hope to continue that investigation. I now have to look for the hard evidence to back that up and hope we could reopen that case as a way into Fred West's activities in Scotland generally.